Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Emmanuel, and let's go for another coin roll hunt. I have a box of quarters here from the bank. Oh, some customer wrapped, some machine wrapped. They look circulated. Let's see what we can find. Roll one. The 1980 variety Far Beats. Roll 7, two American quarters, an Iowa State quarter 2004, not the DDR, with a P mint mark, and a 2017 Frederick Douglass with a D mint mark. Roll 12, a 1971D, not the uh, DDR, and a 2014 Great Sand Dunes with a D mint mark. Roll 13, our first uh, non-American foreign, a 25 centavos from Cuba from 1994. Roll 19, two more American quarters, a 1982P and an Alaska State quarter 2008 with a P mint mark. Roll 20, another American quarter, 1990P. Roll 21, a, an American 2009 U.S. Virgin Islands with a P mint mark. Roll 24, another variety of 1980 Far Beats. Roll 32, uh, an Alabama State Quarter, 2003, D. Roll 35, two American Quarters, a 1973 P and a Delaware State Quarter, 1999 with a D mint mark. Roll 36, a Wisconsin State Quarter, a 2004, with a P mint mark. This is not the DDR. Roll 37, another 1980 Far Beads variety, and a Tennessee State Quarter, a 2002, with a P mint mark. Roll 39, a 2015 Homestead, in Nebraska, not the DDR. Roll 40. A two American quarters, a 1982P and a Delaware State quarter, 1999P mint mark. Roll 41, a beat up 1983 American quarter with a D mint mark and a North Dakota State quarter, 2006 with a P mint mark. Roll 43, a Harper's Ferry, 2016 with a D mint mark. Roll 45, a 1995 with a P mint mark. 46, a Montana State Quarter, 2007, with a P mint mark. Roll 47, a 1971 Philadelphia, not the DDR, and a Florida State Quarter, 2004, with a P mint mark. 48, a non-American foreign. This one is from the Czech Republic from 2013. Five Korun. Before the wrap up, I want to give a shout out to another Canadian coin roll hunter, Great White Northerner. Go over and subscribe to his channel, like his videos, and tell him you came from Emmanuel's YouTube channel. Click on the card above for a link to his channel. And here are the finds for this coin roll hunt. So we have only three Canadians. They're all the same thing. Uh, I haven't wrapped the other two, but uh, there are three 1980 Far Beads varieties. I have enough of those, so I probably will stop collecting them. I have two foreigns, a uh, Croatian 5 Korun piece and a Cuban 25 centavo piece. From the 70s, 80s, and 90s, I have a 1971P and a 1971D, and a 1973 P, a 1982P, and a 1980, well, two 1982Ps. A 1983P, a 1990P, a 1995P, and over here, a two Delaware state quarters, a, both a P and a D. And from the 2000s, we have a 2002 Tennessee, a 2003 Alabama, 2004 we have Wisconsin, Iowa, and Florida. For 2006, we have South Dakota, 2007 we have Montana. We have an Alaska from 2008 and a U.S. Virgin Islands from 2009. And from the 2010s, we have a 2014 uh, Great Sand Dunes. Uh, 
We have a 2015 Homestead, a 2016 Harper's Ferry, and a 2017 Frederick Douglass. For the book fillers, I don't have the books for these, they're on order, but I have a 1971P and a 1971D, as well as the 1973P. I'll put those in the book when I get the book. Also, we have here the 2003 Denver uh, Mint for Alabama, 2016 North Dakota, and the 2009 U.S. Virgin Islands are also uh, new to my collection. I will put them in my book when my book comes in. I also have the Great Sand Dunes 2014 Denver Mint that I add and the Philadelphia Mint for the Homestead 2015 that I add to my book. And finally, for the final ones that I don't have in my book because uh, the book is yet on back order, is the 2016 Harper's Ferry and the Frederick Douglass 2017. So let's have a look at the summary for the coin roll hunt. So what do we have here? We have, we found um, three uh, varieties. We got 10 book fillers. We found 23 American coins, two other foreigns for a total of 60 points, an average of 1.2 points per roll. And I put the, the key find being that uh, five check crown, which I haven't had one before. Um, our average right now is at 0.7 points per roll, averaging 43.3 points uh, per roll on average in terms of points. So this was above average. Uh, this was above average because uh, of uh, the lack of, uh, there were no nickels, dimes, or, or pennies, which deducts negative points. The quarters are all rolled up, ready to go. I'm going to return these to the bank and go to a different branch to get another box for a future coin roll hunt. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.